Thank you, Abbott. Uh, at this time, I'd like to re-recognize a member in our audience who's actually with us now. The Palestinian Minister of Housing and Public Works, Mufid al Husseina from Gaza, is here. And would like to say
honestly, from, from my family and from everyone who knows Amen, we are extremely thankful for everything that you have done. You know, Robert Kennedy, he said, it's very hard for a single man to change the world. But if every single one of us, collectively, changes the community around us, the world will be changed. If every single one of us focuses on being good to our families, to, to helping others, to enjoying in what's good, and to forbidding what's evil, we will all collectively change the world together. You know, Ayman Hamda, right? He was a single man, but he changed the world. Ayman Hamda, he never wrote a book, he never gave great speeches, he didn't make tons of money, but, he, but we all remember him and he left a legacy because of what he's done. Because every single person, they have those memories with him. They remember that time that my car was stuck and Eamon came to help me. They remember that time that you know I was in a gym and Eamon was there. That time where I was really down and Eamon was there. So we would like to thank Pat again for giving the scholarship to whoever follows in those footsteps. And to every single one of us in a small piece of advice to the graduates, when you're gone, your degree will be forgotten. But who you are, will never leave you. Jazakum al khair, Jazakum al khair. So actually, the night before Ayman Alirhamu passed away, he was at the center dropping off his daughters to the tutoring program. And so that's mainly what inspired us to start this scholarship because there was a constant presence. He was always there. And like Munir very eloquently said, that no matter where, you always saw him. He was always there to offer a helping hand. He was always there to make it a point to see what you needed and how he could help. And so, in his spirit and in his honor, and inshallah, in his hasanat, we decided to start this scholarship. It's a thousand dollar scholarship that we want to award to one student every year. Um, it's a very easy process to apply. You just have to go onto our website. Um, the, the deadline is June 1st. But because of this graduation, we did bring it up a little bit because uh, we didn't want to honor the, um, the recipients. So we do highly recommend that all of you who are graduating, I know you have families, I know you have friends, I know you know people who are still in college, so please do tell them about this scholarship. We really do want to make a difference to these college students in the memory of Ali Hamo Ayman Hamza. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome our two recipients this year. We cannot choose between them because they're both amazing, mashallah. Um, so first, um, I'd like to welcome Diane Asa and Hala Yusuf in recognition of their invaluable contribution and dedication for the betterment of our local Palestinian American community. Center, I'm hoping everyone has. I know you've definitely seen these two wonderful girls. They're always there um, in the same way that Muni described it. They're always there to see how, how they can help. What can they do? What can they do to make your experience at the center easier? And we are forever grateful for their help. And we hope, inshallah, that we see you as well, like them, inshallah, and constantly trying to better the community and constantly trying to see how you can help in the center. So please give, me, give them a loud round of applause. are used to determine Latin honors designations and are calculated during the final degree audit right before a student graduates. We can all appreciate that our graduates may have worked, tended to their families, or been involved with other things in their lives while they completed their studies. Many of our graduates today have still been able to complete all of their academic and familial obligations while maintaining high grades in all of their classes. These honors are broken down into three categories. Cum laude is awarded to students that graduated with a 3.5 to 3.69 GPA. 
Magnet Cum Laude is awarded to students that graduated with a 3.7 to 3.89 GPA, and Summa Cum Laude is awarded to students that graduated with a 3.9 or higher GPA. We would like to recognize these students and their families for their great academic achievement. Please rise when you hear your name. And the families, please rise with them. Ala, oh, Ala Yasser Abdul Ghani. Graduated from the Safe County Community College with an associate's degree in early childhood education and received honors. Ayat Yasser Abdul Ghani. Graduated from the State County Community College with an associate's degree in Health Information Technology with honors. Neda El Zorbi. Graduated summa cum laude and was the flag bearer during her graduation commencement for the Michael Graves College of Architecture and Design. She was also inducted into the Phi Kappa Phi and Lambda Alpha Sigma Honor Society. Nora Badwan. Graduated with honors with a bachelor's in English from Seton Hall University. Farouk Bushrat. Graduated with honors and was inducted into the Pi Sigma Alpha Honor Society. Ala Hamda. Graduated magna cum laude with his master's in industrial engineering from NJIT. Roba Kassen. Graduated with distinction as a graduate student, student, meaning she maintained a 4.0 GPA throughout her graduate career. She also received the Excellence in Graduate Study Award. Maram Khalil. Graduated cum laude from New Jersey City University with a bachelor's in psychology and early childhood education. Amdiya Abdul Hamid Manasra. Graduated with honors with her master's in clinical mental health and school counseling from New Jersey City University. Iman Suleiman. Graduated cum laude with a degree, a bachelor's degree in mathematics and education from Fairleigh Dickinson University. At this time, I'd like to ask Mr. Diab Mustafa, Mr. Khalid Nawfal, Mr. Shakri Taha, and Mr. Mahmoud Mustafa to the stage to award the graduates. 